What's up everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Snap video and today is the second ever Saturday showcase. I know I'm not uploading this on Saturday, I think it's probably Sunday at the time of uh, recording and uploading and all that. But yeah, I apologize for that, I've just been really busy with life, I work full time and I'm also a dad. And uh, yeah, I think I just need a little bit of a mental health break these last couple days. So I haven't been uploading as much as I would like. I haven't really been streaming. I did tell myself I want to stream more uh, this year, but I haven't been able to. So yeah, apologize for that. I've just been really busy lately. Shout out to all my fellow dads out there. I'm sure you guys know how I feel. But anyways, I don't want this video to be too depressing or anything like that. We're going to go ahead, get into this week's Saturday Showcase, where I'm going to show off a few decks from my community and pick one of those decks to play some games with. Now, I wish I did record this earlier because we have the hot location, um, Space Throne, which kind of throws off the decks a little bit, but I really wanted to put this video out here, so... We'll try and do our best as we can with the uh, the featured or hot location at the moment. But if you want to be a part of the next Saturday Showcase, uh, get your deck featured on the next video. All you got to do is join my Discord, submit your deck list in the Saturday Showcase channel. I will leave a link for my Discord in the description down below. Let's go ahead and get into this week's deck list. So first up, we have user Brawlalol's Hazmat on Reveal deck. So you got the Hazmat Wombo combo going on with hazmat luke cage and wonk and you can also give your opponent some junk on their side of the board with the black widow and then the viper hood combo you could also do viper ebony mall which is a little bit dirty where they can't play cards at ebony mall's location so i do like that um i like how this deck doesn't completely just rely on hazmat luke cage combo like if you don't kick over the Viper to your opponent's side, you could play Ebony Maw on your lane and then uh, protect it with armor so it doesn't get killed by Killmonger. You can buff up your cards with Ironheart Wong combo and then Ironheart Wong and Odin is a lot of points. You have Absorbing Man to copy one of your on reveal abilities. So a really cool hazmat luke cage deck that doesn't rely on the combo too much so i really like this about this deck and thank you bro lol hope, hope i'm saying that right uh thank you for sharing your deck i appreciate you all right next up we have skips silver surfer deck and this looks like a very solid silver surfer deck even though silver surfer was nerfed i still think he's a pretty decent card i don't think he's as oppressive as he used to be he's a lot more fair here so we have the package that's a little bit more control heavy with the storm being able to lock down a location we have the killmonger to uh pair up with the nova scorpion and lizard are just like the best two drops so no surprise there brood is in pretty much every silver surfer deck mr fantastic i'm a big fan of mr fantastic cosmo to uh tech against other cards and then polaris and maximus are very good as well and sarah allows you to play three three cost cards on turn six which is really really good so this looks like a really solid silver surfer list to be honest i uh, really interested how silver surfer performs in the current meta i played him a little bit but not a whole lot i see i see a, a lot of shuri decks and death wave decks at the moment so once again thank you skip for sharing now next up we have johnny utah's snicked deck and i don't know how to pronounce that word i know it's supposed to be like the sound effect from like when wolverine like does his claws or whatever it's like sneak like sneak 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 <laughs> like i don't i don't know how to do sound effect but anyways this is the deck list um and at the time of submitting this i believe he was in pool two he's a newer player i think he's in early pool three now uh but he was in pool two so this is kind of something he was working with and you know sometimes i forget some people are still new to marvel snap or just have a really low collection level so i wanted to show off you know a pool two style of deck which i think works pretty well it's kind of like a destroy kind of control package deck you have uh the carnage to destroy Sabretooth as well as destroy Wolverine which was recently buffed you can also destroy the Nova we have Killmonger Deathlock as other destroy options we have Storm to lock down a location and then you can still fit in a, a Tiger Spirit from White Tiger in that Storm location you can also put Vision to slide into that location shang chi is just a really good tech card at the moment Hulk you don't see a lot of Hulk um, but in pool 2 I think it makes a lot of sense he's just a pretty good value card so thank you johnny utah for sharing your deck and i'm sorry i butchered the uh the name what if you guys know the the correct pronunciation of the of the snick the snicked sound effect uh let me know next up we have kitsune's ronin deck and if you know anything about me you know i love 
playing me some Ronin. So this is a bit of a hybrid. It's a Ronin and Devil Dinosaur deck. So we have Baron Mordo and Maximus to enable your Ronin. You got Moon Girl, White Queen, Sentinel uh, to enable your Devil Dinosaur. You have Mystique to copy either Devil Dinosaur or Ronin, which is pretty nice. So you could do like on turn five, either Devil Dino or Ronin. And then turn six, you can do Mystique plus Maximus. Mystique plus Sentinel and another card maybe. So a lot of different options with this deck list. You have the Beast to bounce back here on reveal cards. Play them again for cheaper. Uh, Quinjet to discount cards generated by Sentinel, Moon Girl, White Queen. So a very, very interesting deck list. I do like that it has, uh, you know, two win conditions, right? With the Devil Dinosaur and the Ronin. So you can kind of go either way depending on uh, the locations, depending on what type of deck your opponent is playing. So a very, very interesting deck. Thank you, Kitsune, for sharing. And the last but not least, we have a very spicy discard list coming from OV1 Kenobi. So this is a Modoc discard deck, but it has Apocalypse and Hela in it. So a very spicy deck list. I actually played this deck myself, and it's actually performed pretty well you have a couple uh like for the most part i would say the core of the deck is pretty standard in most modok discard decks but you have a couple outliers here i think nakia is actually pretty good with the swarms because if you use nakia to buff swarm swarm's going to go to five you discard him and then all the copies after that's going to be five which can be pretty pretty big if you're able to dis uh, discard swarm multiple times and then the Hella and Black Cat combo. Black Cat is going to discard herself at the end of your turn um, if it's still in your hand, which is not a big deal, honestly. And even if she discards herself, you can bring it back with Hella. That's another two points on top of your Morbius. So, you know, I don't hate the Black Cat in this list, actually. And then we have a couple of different win conditions. Instead of just doing the old play Dracula, discard Apocalypse, and then, you know, the uh, the Dracula is going to take Apocalypse power. Well, you have the option to play Hela instead as an alternate finisher. So you have Hela as a finisher, you have Apocalypse as a finisher, you got Dracula, Modoc. There's a lot of different options you can take here. And I do like that the discards are only the targeted discards, so meaning... Colleen Wing is going to discard the lowest cost card from your hand. Lady Sif is going to discard the highest cost card from your hand. And then Modoc is going to discard all cards from your hand. So we don't have any random discard cards in here like, um, what are the other ones? Moon Knight and Swordmaster, things like that. So I actually really like that. It really limits the RNG on the discards, which I'm a big fan of. So I really, really like this deck list. And he actually said he uses to get to infinite, which I totally believe him. Uh, this deck looks pretty pretty dang solid pretty dang fun and yeah i played a couple of games myself and from what i played with it it was pretty good so thank you obi-wan kenobi for sharing your deck list all right and to play a few games i think i'm actually going to use skip's silver surfer deck for a couple of reasons because well one at the time of recording we got the hot location right with the uh space throne so i like that we have storm in this deck list to kind of shut that down if we want to we have polaris which is an option to pull uh one or two cost card into that location and we can win that location a lot of people are running green goblin um green goblin actually kind of fell out of the meta when silver surfer was running rampant because silver surfer would buff green goblin right so people are actually running green goblin more because of the hot location so i think silver surfer is actually be kind of good right now and i'm interested in seeing how silver surfer performs as a whole right now in the current meta because i used a silver surfer deck uh, i think it was last season uh, to get to infinite so yeah let's go ahead and try out skips silver surfer deck and let's see how we do with it all right so right off the bat we get the space throne so i'm going to be yeah looking to storm that probably honestly i think i just want to storm that like i think i actually don't even want to really mess with this like maybe he could play something that we can polaris into there but since we got Elysium. He could just play a Green Goblin into there. So I'm just gonna hit it with a Storm. Actually, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. So let's play Storm here. He's gonna play Sunspot in the middle with that nice Winter Vacation variant. Okay, now here we got Scorpion, Maximus, Mr. Fantastic, Polaris. I think I'm gonna hang on to Polaris. I actually don't want to pull a Sunspot into the Flooding location. I think that would actually be a poor play. Um, I actually don't really like playing Maximus until the final turn of the game where his draws don't really matter but 
I think I actually want to play him in the flooding location because that's going to be a lot of points there. And then we can drop Scorpion as well. Um, and it was important... Oh, he's playing a Thanos deck. Okay. And it was important to note that we want to play Maximus first and then Scorpion because Maximus is going to draw two cards and then Scorpion's going to get hit all of those cards. So uh, playing the cards in that specific order uh, does matter in that scenario let's go ahead and drop sarah on the middle location here our hand is looking pretty good we just need surfer we just if we get surfer and killmonger i think i'm gonna snap because he's playing a thanos deck oh leech okay leech leech is bad for our fantastic but for polaris and lizard it's actually not bad we got the killmonger we got the killmonger let's do i'm gonna do lizard here I think I'm going to snap. I think I'm going to snap because we have Killmonger, but I'm going to wait till the last turn to use Killmonger. So let's do Lizard and let's do Polaris as well. Let's do Polaris in the middle and we'll hang on to Fantastic and Killmonger. Hopefully we draw Silver Surfer or maybe even Cosmo. Oh, Magneto is going to pull all the cards out of the flooded location but wait strange academy he's gonna put them back okay he puts them back in a strange academy okay um but we do have killmonger as well so i think we're actually fine here oh we got nova nova's good nova's good and we're revealing first so can we win the middle location these are two points we take that out we're gonna buff uh, we didn't draw surfer though we can do, do you want to do Fantastic, Nova, Killmonger, like that? How many points is that going to be? Okay. Yeah, we win. We win that game. So, okay. Okay. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. Shout out our boy Skip. And something I see a lot of people uh, use in these Silver Surfer decks is Juggernaut in conjunction with the Storm. Definitely could throw him in here instead of, I don't know, any of the other three cost cards, I guess. Maybe instead of like Cosmo or Polaris maybe but I really do like um I really do like Polaris actually I think she's a really really good three cost card I think Polaris and, and Mr. Fantastic are like some of the th better three cost cards so we got a pretty good start here Scorpion got buffed by Wakanda and MSC let's go ahead and play Mr. Fantastic in the middle location as well that's a lot of points for Mr. Fantastic there Carnage, so probably a Death Wave deck. Maybe we can destroy that demon with uh, Killmonger, which is actually very, very nice. Let's go ahead and do. I think I want to do Cosmo. I want to do Cosmo. I can do Cosmo here, and then Cosmo here, Nova here. I think we could play Nova now, and they'll play Sarah next turn onto the Cosmo lane. Let's see what he has for us. A Spider-Man. A Spider-Man on turn four is is very, very awkward. Oh, wow. The location's moved, and Spider-Man's webbed moved with it. I did not know. I did not know that was a, a thing. Okay, well, today I, I learned something new, guys. Um, Spider-Man webbed Wakanda Embassy, but the Starlight Citadel swapped the locations and the spider web stayed with Wakanda Embassy. I've never seen that before. Okay, well, there's a... Uh, yeah, you learn something new every day, I guess, huh? Professor... <laughs> what is this guy doing? What? What is this guy doing? Okay, I... I, I, I don't know what this guy's doing. So we, we can't kill the demon now with the Killmonger, but the Killmonger will buff up our Cosmo and Sarah, ensuring we win that location. So let's go ahead and do uh can do lizard in the middle lizard in the middle and then let's do don't do maximus here yeah let's do maximus here and then killmonger here and it's probably too late to snap and he's gonna retreat anyways all right that's another dub that's another dub we didn't even draw a silver surfer but that was a very questionable play by our opponent there and in my silver surfer deck that i used to take to infinite i put in thor i know thor is not the most popular option in silver surfer deck since he's kind of diluting your draws by adding mjolnir to your deck but i just really like thor i think he's a fun card to use 
So now we do have the Space Throne. Um, let's go ahead and play Scorpion on the left. Actually, in New York, on turn 6, we can move cards. So Space Throne might not impact us too much. We also have Polaris to potentially move something. We, okay, we can move the Zabu. We can move the Zabu here. Or I could just put Mr. Fantastic in the middle. Oh, the Wrapped. Okay, so actually, I think I... I think I do want a Polaris here. So we pull... We pull that out of here. Oh, Bishop. Okay, Bishop in the middle. Ooh, that actually might not be the best thing for us. Okay, I don't think I want him to draw with a Maximus. Like, we could play Maximus, but I don't know. I, I guess we'll play Lizard on the right. Um, kind, kind of an awkward hand at the moment. Mysterio. Okay, so he's probably playing a Sarah deck, which actually could be could be kind of rough for us. This could be bad for us, actually. Let's play Sarah on the uh, the right location here. And we still didn't draw Silver Server. Oh, and he got a card from the Raft. We you may have to retreat, actually. Oh, but he. Oh, oh, okay. I, I guess he really wanted that free card from the Raft. Uh, that, yeah, that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, no Silver Surfer again. Um, what we could do... What we could do... Move Polaris. Mr. Fantastic. Could do, like, Sarah. Rude. Maximus, is that enough points? Maybe, maybe not. Perhaps, perhaps... Uh, that's, I feel like that's a lot of points in the. I say we, I say we give up the middle. We give up the middle. We we'll just play Mr. Fantastic in the middle. And then, yeah, we need to move one of these cards over here. Yeah, I guess Sarah, right? Move Sarah there. Brood there, Maximus there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play it out. It's probably not ideal since we don't have Surfer. But since he didn't snap, I'm going to go ahead and play out this uh, game here and see. See if we can get a win, perhaps. Sneak out a win here. If we had Silver Surfer, we'd be in a much, much better spot. Ultron? Oh, he got that from the raft, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did. Okay, I was going to say Ultron is very random. And what is his last card here? Iceman. Do we actually pull out? Oh, wait. No, the, the Mysterio. The Mysterio. Oh, man. The Mysterio came in clutch for him. Okay, so, yeah. I probably should have retreated when he filled the raft out. But I wanted to see if we can sneak out a win. We almost did. Almost. If we had Silver Surfer, we would have won there. All right. Finally, we got Silver Surfer in hand. But, of course, now we get Subterranea as, uh, as the first location here. Okay, then we got Space Throne. And the good old Rock. All right, well, this is not looking good already. Oh, another Thanos deck. Yo, look at that crackle. Jeez. Look at that crackle. Ooh, Sinister London's going to be really good for uh, Silver Surfer. I think I'm going to play Storm onto the Space Throne. Yeah, so it is another Thanos deck here. I, I feel like Thanos is getting more and more popular. I know Thanos is a good card. Um, I guess just more people are starting to unlock him. Ooh, I kind of like, I kind of like the Scorpion onto Sinister London. I could also do Brood in the Flooding Lane. Maybe I should do, maybe I should do that. Maybe, I, let's do that. Let's do Brood onto the Flooding Location here. Oh, Dazzler. He's got a, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna win this with Killmonger. Oh yeah, this is easy. This is easy. We just need Sarah. No Sarah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But we will snap. We're going to snap. We're going to do Scorpion here. And Lizard here. And then uh, Killmonger Silver Surfer. And I think that should be a win, honestly. I think that should be enough to, to win. Oh, oh Spider-Man on Sinister London. No! No! Oh, no! He got me, dude! No way. That is that is dirty. That that is 
Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not, that's, uh, we're, we're going to pretend that didn't happen. We're, we're going to pretend that that match didn't happen. And I am usually not one to complain all that much, but I feel like I've been getting unlucky draws, man. Like, I have not really been drawing Silver Surfer. I think we only drew him in, like, one game so far. So that does kind of suck. Uh, Space Throne. Space Throne and Warrior Falls. Man, both these locations are kind of bad for us. So let's do Lizard. I guess on the right location for now. And he's going to play Daredevil. Now we can do Polaris. We could do Polaris actually in the, in the Space Throne to pull one of those cards over here. That might not be bad idea so let's pull if we pull daredevil that'd be really good okay sunspot and we could still destroy sunspot if we draw the killmonger let's do storm donna storm warrior falls maybe right maybe a storm the warrior falls let's do let's do nova in the dark dimension just kind of hide that for now if we draw killmonger we're we're good we're solid if we don't draw killmonger we might be screwed so he's going to see what we're playing. But we did draw the Silver Surfer. I'm going to play Sarah in the flooding location. I'm not going to snap. I'm not going to snap. Okay, so we dropped the Sarah. Let's see what our opponent plays. And it is a Hobgoblin. So we lose that location. But we have Silver Surfer. Oh, and we have Killmonger. Oh, yeah. This is, this is GG. Unless he drops a Cosmo. Unless he drops a Cosmo. So we'll play Surfer. Or I mean, Killmonger first. And then Surfer. Surfer will buff the Storm. And then we'll have one point here. So unless he has something crazy. Cosmo. Maybe like Doctor Doom to fly, to fly in here. Okay, Armor. So that will protect the Killmonger. But it will not protect the Sunspot. So we're going to win that location. Silver Surfer is going to buff the Storm, and we take the dub. All right, finally, man. All we needed to do is draw Silver Surfer, and we just we win the game. That's all you got to do. All right, guys. Overall. Well, thank you for sharing your decks. I really do appreciate you. And uh, once again, I apologize for uploading this video kind of late. I'm going to try and upload more videos more consistently. I really am trying i really really do want to upload more marvel snap content it's just it's hard man it's hard to find the time so i appreciate you guys sticking with me and uh yeah really appreciate you so uh if you enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing it would really help me out and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take off for now but i'll see you guys in the next one later